lover of the finer things in life could do quite nicely here. Stately brick federals on Main Street, fine cheeses at Alashant, a beloved bookstore, and sophisticated cuisine at the local inn, all centered around a classic town green. Norwich, Vermont, an eminently civilized place. Just across the Connecticut River from Hanover, New Hampshire, Norwich is the address of choice for many Dartmouth professors and boasts one of the highest per capita incomes in the state. When I was a young kid, this was a very Republican, very conservative town. Land was practically worthless because nobody could pay the taxes on it, and those things have turned around 100%. Thank you. But one beloved Norwich institution has proudly resisted the trend towards prettification. Dan and Witt's general store. Jack Frazier and his brother George are holding strong to this family tradition. My dad went to work here right after high school during the Depression. It may not be much to look at on the outside, gas pumps, plastic lettering, indifferent window displays, and a community bulletin board long past any point of control. Dan and Witz presents a somewhat shambolic face to the world. Inside, however, is something else entirely, that complex, efficient, highly evolved organism known as the classic country store. Here you'll find everything from chainsaw lubricant to sushi, glass bottled milk and a gourmet butcher shop. But Norwich insiders know that the real action starts where the market ends and until you've passed through the unmarked door that lies behind the meat counter, you really haven't had the true Dan and Witz experience. Welcome to the ever ready battery of general stores, it just keeps going and going. How many items do you have in this store? Rough guesstimate. Uh, I, I, my guess is 300 to 500,000 different items, if you were to count them all. Stove pipes and chicken feed, washboards and pickling crocks. The whole shebang heated by vast piles of cordwood stored in the basement. Which reminds Jack Frazier of the time an eager new insurance adjuster marched into Dan and Witz for an inspection and left with a quick lesson in small town politics. He said that if we didn't move the wood outside, he would get the fire chief here to discuss with me how dangerous that was. And I said, well, I am the fire chief, so uh, I understand how dangerous it is, but we're being very careful. Careful management has steered this old general store through changing times. The local dairy industry hasn't been so fortunate. Today, there is only one dairy operation left, and it is run by a nonprofit foundation. Come on, come on, come on now, come on, Louis. But out at the Root District Creamery, old time farming is very much alive. I'm such a privileged person to be here on this beautiful property that I just want very much to do an excellent job. Suzanne Lupian's idea of being a good farmer, however, puts her at odds with the state. When I started on this farm with a friend of mine, we got the state regulations, and it just didn't sound right at all to me. And I, I just realized that not only could I not bring myself to imprison my animals to make a more efficient farm system and put them on concrete, that I I just thought the whole idea was so incredibly stupid. So I just choose to love a small number of animals and do my best with that. I feel like I'm farming with all the farmers who farmed here before. There's a way of looking at this house, looking at this barn, knowing how many livestock this farm carried and knowing what they produced. And I think I still say it's original production and lifestyle is as valid today to me as it was when when they came and hacked it out of the woods. Mm. 
Back to Dan and Wits. We're sad to report that longtime owner Jack Fraser passed away in 2019. He had served the Norwich Fire Department for more than 50 years and was a decorated veteran of the Vietnam War. Like other businesses, Dan and Wits struggled for a while to find help, and when customers heard, they launched an effort to pull shifts themselves, donating their earnings to local nonprofits. A quite creative solution.